Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how to bring fonts onto your iPad to use on Cricut Design Space. So we're going to be using devfont.com, but it's going to be a little bit different than it would be if you were downloading it on your desktop or on a laptop. If you ever notice that you downloaded those fonts from devfont.com on your iPad, I mean on your laptop or your desktop, you can't bring them into Cricut Design Space on your iPad um, because they're over there on your laptop or desktop. So you have to download them over here on your iPad. So it's a little bit different than it would be if you were downloading it on your laptop or desktop. So I'm going to show you today how to do that. So this is Cricut Design Space. One of the first things that you need to download to be able to do this is any font. So you need to come over here to your Apple Store and you need to download any font. So if you come to search and type in any font, you'll see this one right here with the, the capital A, lowercase a with a circle. You're gonna click it and it's $1.99. I've already purchased mine so you can see it says open. So it's only a $1.99 investment, you have it for life. I totally think it's worth it for this. So $1.99, you're gonna download that. Once you have that downloaded, you, it's gonna look just like this. So when you open it, you'll start to see your fonts come in here. Okay, so what you need to do, let's go ahead and go to the internet. I'm already on dafont.com, which is D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and I'll have it linked down below as well, as well as the app um, that I'm using from the app store. Okay, so let's go ahead and find a font. So let's say that we want to use the I Love Glitter. So let's go ahead and look for that now. All right, we hit search. Okay, so once it comes up, which it's right here, the next thing you're gonna do is hit download. And you're gonna see that it comes up to here. Now make sure that you've already downloaded the app from the App Store. Okay, so uh, what you're gonna do is it's gonna come up just like this and it's gonna say open in. If it doesn't already say any font, cause that's where you need it to go, go to more and then choose, um, go to, you know, to copy to any font. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and click here cause it already says open in any font. All right, so you can see that it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on one. So right here, so this one is the OTF. And if I close that and I click on the second one here, this is gonna be the TTF. It doesn't matter which one you do. So some of these will download two at a time and one will, some will just do one. So like this Taylor Hawks just downloaded one. This one is two. So it doesn't matter which one you do. So let's say that we do the TTF. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here. It's gonna say close or preview. But if you click on this piece here, just like this, it's gonna say this website is trying to open settings to show you a configuration profile. Do you wanna allow this? Yes, because it's gonna download it. So you hit allow. All right, and then it's gonna say install. So you're gonna go ahead and hit install. Then it's gonna ask you to hit your password that is on your, um, that's on your iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now. So after you do that, once you hit in your password, this is gonna come up. So it's gonna say message from any font. This configuration profile installs the font I Love Glitter. You're gonna hit next, and then you're gonna hit install. So it says the profile is not signed. It's completely fine. You're gonna hit install. And then it's gonna come up here with a cancel and install. You're gonna hit install. And then you're gonna hit done. So it says open page in any fonts. I'm gonna say open. All right, so um, and so now it's installed. So now what I can do is I can come over here to the Cricut Design Space. I can go to New Project. I can go to Text. I'm gonna see where it says um, Select Your Font. So it says Insert Font. It says Cricut or it says System. I'm gonna go ahead. So if it's on Cricut, it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna hit System. I'm going to go ahead and type in I Love Glitter. And see, you can see it pop up just like that. So there it is. So you can go ahead and type out whatever you want to type. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you that one more time. So let's go ahead and back out of this. And what I'm going to do is we're going to test if I need to completely close out of this or if it'll still, if it'll already be in there. So it's still going. I'm just, it's in the background. So what I'm going to do is come back to the internet. I'm going to exit out of this and come back to my default. All right. So this time let's go back here to the front. Let's see what's new. All right, let's look at a couple of these. I really like this one here, the um, Matt Surrey. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. All right, so once again, you're gonna click open in any font and if it doesn't come up, you're gonna hit more and copy to any font, but mine's already, once you do it once, it'll always, it'll always stay like this. So we're gonna click any font. So now you can see this one only did one. So you can, just like that, I look glitter did two. So if you click on it, it's gonna be just like this. So once again, you wanna click on this piece and you wanna hit allow, install. 
I'm gonna hit my password and I hit next, install, install, done, and open. So now your font is there and we're going to go look this font up really quick. We're gonna come back to Cricut Design Space. We're gonna go to text. This one is called Matt Surrey, so I'm gonna type in Matt. Okay, so you can see it didn't come up. So what you need to do before then, you need to go ahead and exit out of that Cricut Design Space come back into Cricut Design Space, so it needs to be a fresh, fresh page. So what we're gonna do is we're going to type in Matt Surrey. So there it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and type out my name. Just like that. And then, um, as usual, so let me go ahead and click on this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. I'm gonna drag it out so you guys can see here. So what I wanna do is some letter spacing, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. I'm gonna click letter space. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm gonna hit the minus, which is right here. And I can hold that down. I'm just gonna kinda of have all that come together as close as I possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and come to actions. I'm gonna hit ungroup and group. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is individually bring these letters, the rest of these in if I couldn't letter space them good enough. Just like that. All right, so then what I can do is select the whole thing again. I can hit group. All right, and there it is, it's a whole thing again. Now that may not be perfect, but I just kinda wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and go to I Love Glitter. All right, so let's go ahead and do Just like that. All right. Um, this is pretty cool with the iPad. Once you've already done some letter spacing, um, when you keep going in, it's gonna keep it all together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to edit and I'm gonna go to letter spacing and this time I'm gonna hit the plus button to bring it back out. So what it's doing since I've already done letter spacing with the iPad, it just leaves it like that instead of just once you do a new font. Um, normally it would, would just revert back. This one does not. So that's kind of cool. Just like that. That's how you do your um, your letter spacing. So what you're doing is you're coming down here to the edit button and you can see letter spacing right here. And like I said, you can hit the, the minus or the plus. And then if you needed to do ungroup, you would come to actions, which is right here, hit ungroup, and then you would have your, hit ungroup, and then you would have your individual letters, okay? So that's how that works. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.